Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some DIY high-end decor ideas and this is also a part of my unconventional materials craft challenge that I'm so passionate about. I'll talk about it a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get started with DIY number one. I'm gonna take this chips container and I will use this Adirondack white chalk paint by Falkart and a sponge brush, actually what's left of it. <laughs> and I will um, paint it with two coats and I just dabbed on it because I wanted that kind of a texture that leaves behind when you use a sponge brush. After everything was painted and dried, I'm gonna take this, um, it is mat that goes inside of your sink. So like a drying mat. And I am going to go ahead and uh, wrap it around my cylinder container and measure how much I need to cut so they don't overlap at all and also the height that I want. It's probably approximately half of the cylinder size. After I cut it all out, I'm going to go ahead and take um, gray chalk paint bar by Martha Stewart and then uh, the same brush and I will just dab onto it. So the same dabbing motion so it can leave some kind of texture on it. And this is how it looks like when it was done. Now I am going to uh, align it flush on the bottom and I will just use a hot glue literally at the beginning and at the end, like you see me doing it over here. And like I said, uh, I'm making sure they're not overlapping. And that's going to be it for this project. Now I'm not going to show you how it is styled, I'll do that at the end. First, I wanna tell you about my challenge. This is Unconventional Materials Craft Challenge. My co-host for this month is Olga from Olia DIY Adventures. She's my dear friend and extremely talented that I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check out. I love watching her videos. And this challenge is just about uh, creating beautiful decor um, from things that are not intended to be craft supplies. So it can be anything from trash to treasure, so saving uh, all the things that we would normally throw away or using anything like ropes or maybe dog bowl or jewelry or hair ties, anything like that, just to be very, very creative and to just show people that you can create beautiful decor from literally anything. So like I said, Olga is my friend, but also she's a wonderful creator and I'm going to encourage you guys to go ahead and check out her channel. She is... Um, just such a sweet person and her channel really really deserve a lot more eyes on and her ideas are really great and her work is very meticulous so that's why I love her, watching her videos and her ideas. I'm gonna have her channel linked in the description box along with a playlist so you see what everybody else created. Now if you're new to my channel I'm Yelena, I'm stay-at-home mom of two kids. I always loved crafting and doing DIY projects and everything that I do is on extreme budget and I mostly do rustic and farmhouse style, but I do experiment with other styles as well. If something like that interests you, I would invite you to watch my other videos and hopefully you like them enough to stick around my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me and it's helping my channel getting promoted on YouTube. If you uh, consider subscribing, please a link, uh, click on that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Subscription is completely free. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. In case you're there, please come and say hi and join me. Now, for now, I am uploading on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm considering changing that uh, based on what I see when my audience, when you guys are watching my videos, but I'll let you know in advance so you know. DIY number two. I'm using these ping pong balls from the Dollar Tree. There are six in a package and I'm also going to be using these uh, wooden, they look like beads, but they're just ginormous um, wooden pieces that were actually part of the my, my daughter's um, game that she had when she was little. Now I'm using my hot glue gun to um, create two holes on opposite sides of these balls, ping pong balls, and I am putting them on a skewer and I will actually create a mixture of this gray chalk paint by, by Martha Stewart and um, uh, baking soda and I will just use the same sponge and just dab it all around. I um, did two coats because I really wanted the texture to show through. Now you have to be very careful working with the ping pong because they're very delicate and you didn't you don't want to smash them. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these wooden uh, balls as well. And then um, after I was done with these two coats, 
then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of white and just dab it in there because I really want a different colors and that way it seems like there is a different texture or more like a cement or, or a clay looking um, you know uh, it looks more like clay now that everything is done this is how they look like I'm gonna take this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree it is the light light one and I'm gonna just use one strand so I'm gonna have to unravel one and I just did until I was happy with the length after I was done with that, I'm going to actually make a pattern. So one small, two large, one small, two large uh, beads. And then I didn't have a big needle. So I used just the wire that I had on hand and created kind of a loop uh, at the end where I'm going to just really I created a needle. So now I started first with a smaller one. And that went through very easily because it, the opening is very big. But then I, when I started using ping pong, I realized that I need to create a bigger hole because of the nautical rope. So then I went back and created a bigger hole on all of them. And then now I am just gently pushing my created needle uh, through the holes and just um, putting all the beads on the rope. When I was done with all the beads, this is how they look like. So now what I'm gonna do, I will just finish off the ends. I will create a loop. I'm going to connect with a hot glue to pieces of the rope then I'm going to take a, um, another piece of rope and then just add a hot glue and start wrapping it around of course first I cut off all the excess uh, from the rope so nothing is sticking out and then I started to wrap around I believe I wrapped around four times and then I secured it again with a hot glue and you will see that just in a minute I had to um, also make sure that um, you know the rope stays still uh, nice and flat so like I said after I was done I'm just cutting off the excess and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side and this is how they turned out so beautiful alrighty DIY number three I'm taking two of these Nutella on the go containers and I am going to go ahead and first take my exacto knife and or actually box cutter and just cut off that lip that is on the top. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, do as best as you can, but be careful with any sharp objects, of course. Now I'm going to just hot glue these two together on a flat side. And this is what I was left with. Next thing I'm going to take the bamboo skewers and I, they are from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to take one at a time and I will hot glue them around this, these two containers. Now the first one I'm going to hot glue right um, where two of the containers meet. So there is a little indentation and then I'm start, starting to go all the way around. Now this one was over the open package of the bamboo skewer so I did not have enough to go all the way around. But after I use them all up. You will see that in just a few minutes, a few seconds, I actually stopped. So here it is. And I'm going to cut off the excess. I was not sure if I'm going to use scissors or pliers, but I ended up using an exacto knife with the help of the scissors. And then this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the bamboo skewers and the rest of the, to fill up the rest of the can or container, new created container. So uh, when I was done with everything, this is how it looks like. Now the top is of course not aligned. I'm going to take my sander and I will just gently and patiently sand it until it is really looking very nice and, you know, same height. Now I cut off three different, or uh, actually one longer and two smaller pieces of bamboo skewer that I'm going to position right here where you see me doing it on the top of the container so it is just nicely finished it doesn't you don't see those plastic pieces sticking out so after I was done with this I decided to go ahead and take the fall leather uh, ribbon from the Dollar Tree and this one is in a color brown and I uh, cut out two uh, strips and I'm going to position one on the top and one on the bottom 
So I'm really uh, making sure that I'm putting a little bit of hot glue in the beginning and then one over here on the opposite side and then a little bit at the end. I didn't want to put too much because this is a faux leather and really you can see um, if there is any bump that hot glue can create. But I was really making sure it looks nice and seamless and after that this project will be completed. Like I said, I'll show you it all in just a minute. But before that, I want to tell you that for this video i have to show you something that was sent to me by a company called homery and they sell everything that you can imagine for your home decor wise they have so many beautiful furniture pieces and i picked out this coffee table that is gorgeous as soon as i saw it i was thinking i have to have it because it is nothing like i ever seen before and it fits my style perfectly and look at the price guys it is just unbelievable and this is a real wood so it arrived in this box and then when we opened it this is what it was in a box so literally there was only four pieces and it was a bag with the screws that's pretty much it and after we aligned it and put everything where we wanted the only thing left to do was just to screw the screws in and that was it the easiest installation ever i swear and look how beautiful it is this is probably the most beautiful uh, coffee table that i've ever had um, it is on a smaller size uh, side i want to just let you know make sure if you're ordering this to check the dimensions so you're not surprised my living room is a little bit big so it does look a little bit smaller however i like it that way because i need uh, to have space for my kids to run around and i don't want anything too big i absolutely love it i'm going to have a discount code for you guys in my description box make sure to check it out and the price is already low so i really encourage you guys to go ahead and check it out now these are the projects that i created oh my gosh look how beautiful it turned out these two are definitely my favorite i cannot pick uh, which one i like more probably beads a little bit more but i like both of them they look so beautiful high-end rustic just the way i like and they look so perfect on this coffee table aren't they i mean can you imagine this is you know something that was created it cost me only a dollar or two to make and it's just so beautiful i forgot to mention for the coffee table there is several um colors to choose from so you can go ahead and just check out whatever fits your style but let's go back to my projects. This is just, I am so happy with this and looks beautiful on my table. Now this one, I, I think it's so interesting and beautiful. I wish I had two more candles to show you because the other two compartments are actually more shallow. So the candles will stand offset uh, opposed to the other two candles. But either way, I like how it turned out. You get the point. I think it's so beautiful so beautiful but i want to hear as always what you guys think about these projects um and excuse my dog i try to <laughs> not show him uh, but he didn't want to go away that's his spot so i want to hear what you guys think about these projects which one was your favorite and i want to also show you how i styled my uh, table look how beautiful it is i'm super happy Please make sure to go ahead and check out my description box for the challenge playlist link so you see what everybody else created. Also, there will be a homery um, link to this table and to everything else and also to the discount code that they provided. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.